Besides Night New News you also can listen to the latest, already fourth Night New podcast which is, as it should be, dedicated to Rugby World Cup. In the podcast you can hear the debate about the World Cup before it started, the thoughts about who is in the position to win this challenge and what chances Wales has to win the Cup. There is also second part of the podcast promised at the end, However this time Rugby World Cup really occupied us and so you probably can expect this promised second part at the end of the championship most likely Granko and Ta only to ponder their thoughts about what was good and what not, who won and who should win and how it all appeared at the end. So, stay tuned to either our forum, our site, podcast page or iTunes to be informed in time about if this second part comes out and when. It has begun short time after our last edition of news and it still goes on. The Rugby World Cup in New Zealand is in full speed progress as yesterday and today the quarter finale matches are played. The best eight teams of the world are, is kind of expected, Wales, England, France, South Africa, Australia, Argentina, Ireland and New Zealand. All matches were played already and at least two surprises what concerns me happened. I didn't expect France to beat England and even more I didn't think South Africa will be thrown out from the further competition by Australia. I knew Wales would have quite tough job winning the match against Ireland and I'm glad Wales succeeded though and we'll see at least one game played by our team yet, in semi-finale with France. All the rest are just wishes which hopefully come true. Well, all teams played well and it's quite a shame some just had to go home as all can make progress into further competition. Now we're excited to see the outcome of the semi-finale next weekend and then all will be almost clear and known. So, stay with us one more week following World Cup and Granko's or Ta Oni's occasional tweets. Talk Like a Pirate Day was here again and as last year Tell Tales offered us the whole five seasons of Tales of Monkey Island game at discount again. We posted the newsletter on our forum and hopefully you grabbed the opportunity and got your copy of it if you didn't do this last year already. <coughs> Mahang, or better not, released a new version, 1.8 beta already in which there's many new things to be found. There are new items, a totally new monster called Enderman and there's a creative mode in which you can even fly and you can never die unless you follow out of the world. There's a lot of excitement in the game for me most in creative mode. Our studios are in survival mode though and it will probably not be altered until Halloween when many things can happen. I recommend to try this newest version. You can also find the 1.9 pre-release, but as Cobram said, there's nothing particularly new so 1.8 is quite okay to play with. In PC section of gaming forum there the topic of Minecraft is waiting for you to discuss and tell us your experiences with the newest game features, mobs and items. <coughs> Legend of Zelda 4 Swords is the game which Anniversary Edition was given out for 3DS Sword C for free to players a week ago and it's still available for download from C and 3DS where. My son Cobram says it's great to play so you just have to give it a try especially as it's for free. Enjoy playing and tell us what you think and what your experiences with the game are. You can find the topic in Nintendo section of gaming forum. <coughs> Did you try out Akimator yet? Akimator is amazing game on the internet in which you think of the random famous person or character and then answer the question put up by Akimator. 
from the answers Akimator guesses which person did you have on mind and if your answers are accurate enough you will be stunned with the fact that mostly Akimator will have the right person on his mind. Pretty good, pretty scary as well. I thought a very local singing star of Slovenia and, believing or not, Akimator guessed her. You can find the topic in gaming section where you also can find the link to the game. Tell us if you have beaten Akimator anyway or your character was disclosed. Last week on Monday Sarah Jane began already fifth season of her adventures with the first episode titled Sky. Much more about the series isn't known to us yet and there are no further posts in the topic how first episode of the series was. It was set this season to be the last one, but according to tragic happenings around Elizabeth Sladen, some of us believe this will not be the end yet. If you watched it, then you're very welcome to open the real discussion about it. <laughs> This is everything what we prepared for tonight's edition. We hope you enjoyed it. Well, I can say for sure that as long as Rugby World Cup lasts, we will be consumed with it but we'll try to bring forums to life with more activity anyway. This for we will be happy if you help us to do so with your participation so that the discussion will be more variable and active. Until next edition. Good night from Nigost and Night Newer Staff.